In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you again for bringing us together this evening from all over the world. Lord, speak to us again that that heaven has prepared for us. May we go home enlightened. May we go home tonight empowered. This is our prayers to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the Father has not the Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Immediately, he made the disciples get into the boats and go on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowd, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But by this time, the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning, he came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately, Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening again, beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, Father. Uh, I pray that the Lord will give us uh, the understanding, deep understanding about the matter he will be discussing with us quickly tonight. One of the perennial questions, and they call it the pro one of the challenges and questions maybe everybody has asked before in their life, and, and that has been a major problem in the faith of everyone, is the problem of evil. A lot of people have asked questions, why did God create Satan? Why did God allow this to happen? If he knows that this will happen, this will happen, why did he do this like this? I do hope that as we study this Bible passage tonight, the Lord will be teaching us some things that will help us to understand the plan and the purpose of God for us as his children. Now, let me say this also as an introduction. I am a priest. Of course, we are all priestly people. They call it the priesthood. Uh, I'm in the ministerial priesthood, but we all share the priesthood of Christ. We are the priestly people. But what I'm trying to say is that in earnest is that, like I told my children in school, when I asked them, what do you want to become? Some say doctors. As actually, you are a servant of God who works as a doctor. You are a child of God who is an engineer. Our life primarily is not our profession. It is our process. Is not our profession. It's not the job that we are doing. 
it is our it is the is it is the profession of our faith it is our identity so we are all children of god like the body doing different assignments it is important to lay this foundation also so whatever i need to fulfill my assignment as a priest is equally what you need to fulfill your assignment as a doctor you are not going to be an anointed less anointing less doctor you cannot function any without the same. everything that I don't even take more than you. Jokingly, I was telling one of my parishioners some time ago, some years ago. I said, you know that I work in the church and the church is filled with good people, righteous people. People, I mean, 90%, 99% of at least people who have conscience. You, you work in the world, 99% don't have conscience. So if I need the power of God, you need the power of God times 10 more than me. Because I'm working with nice, good people online today. So there's no likelihood that somebody that hear me preach just want to kill me now, now. But where you are working, it is survivor of the fittest. So <laughs> I don't need the grace of God. I don't need the hand of God more than you. There is no special devil. The one that fights me is the one that fights you. Whether I'm a minister of God, I'm not a minister of God. Many of us, the contention we have in the world, in our workplace, sometimes can even be greater than the contention we have, even in our own workplace. Unless you are an evangelist, unless you are routing the kingdom of darkness, like we said some weeks ago, unless you are rescuing sheep from the mouth of the lion, then the lion must face you. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that all of us, we need the hand of the Lord to be very strong on our life. Immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side. While he dismissed the crowd, the first thing, I am saying tonight is that God expects us to live the supernatural life while we are on earth. Actually, God was not thinking that the devil is supposed to be tormenting you. Because when, the, when God created us, he breathed his spirit into us. We are not just ordinary. There is a supernatural dimension of every Christian life, of every one of us. And if you don't grow that supernatural life, you will, uh, you may be a victim on it. It is not the presence of the devil that is my challenge. It is the absence of supernatural strength. It is not the presence of wickedness. After all, we see people on earth. We see people on earth that are dominating Satan day by day, second by second, minute by minute. It is not the presence of the devil that is behind our ordeal. It is the absence of the supernatural. The lack of evidence of the supernatural. And the problem why we, we never grow in the supernatural is this. First Corinthians 15, verse 46. The Bible says, however, the spiritual is not forced, but the natural, and afterwards the spiritual. Please let me permit me to explain with this. This is the natural life. This is the natural. This is my life. 
This is your life. Now, this is the spiritual life. This is the spiritual life. So the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 45, 46, that then the, the spiritual did not come first. But the natural, so this is the natural life. This is your life as you, are, you were born. When your mommy was telling you to slap you and anybody that beats you, uh, when they tell you, don't you have hand? When we're born, when you are looking at all the things you are watching on television, all our life, the natural. Can you see? The natural entered our life. So the natural came first. So this is the problem. Now, this is the spiritual. You now started coming to church. You went to Sunday school. You went to Bible study. You are coming for Bible study. You now started pouring the supernatural. Eh? Something started working in your life. Supernatural is entering. But you know every day, as you are pressing your phone, status, joking every day, you are pouring more of the natural. So 30 years, nothing has changed. You are very natural. Because it will take a, a long time for you to turn this thing into supernatural. But unfortunately, the natural came first. And instead of continually pouring the natural, I'm not saying don't press your phone or don't watch television, but do you know 99% of your day and time, you continue to pour the natural, the natural. All the things you are listening to, all the people you are just with, your friend, your friend, everything is natural. Everything is natural. Everything is natural. And the more you pour the natural, the more it becomes difficult for the supernatural to become obvious. The Bible says the natural came first and then the spiritual. But unfortunately, we are very used to the natural. So there are a lot of principles in the word of the Lord. Many people cannot even try it. So we work with the principle of the natural. The principle of it is who you know. The principle some of those principles are contrary to the principle of the word of God. Some of those contrary make you to value human being more than God. Some of those principles, they make sense. But they make sense, but they are not principles of faith. God wants us to work in the supernatural. And there is a supernatural dimension. But the problem is that the natural came first. And many people never grow the supernatural. They never grow the supernatural. Even when they are trying to grow the supernatural, they will continue to dilute it with the natural. Because it came first. So that is all we know. That is the life that we know. The principle we operate, the business principle, life principle, Health principle, everything is very natural. So by the time you put a little bit of supernatural, spiritual, you are wondering why is it not working? Now, how many of this supernatural will I pour before this thing will change color? Unfortunately, we don't even keep pouring. We don't keep pouring the spiritual. We don't keep growing the supernatural until the supernatural will become dominant. And the natural will become eh, almost invisible. But God actually wants us to live the supernatural life because everything in this life is not just natural. There are so many things we will deal with. They, they are not, they are not, they are not natural. There are not things that we, we work out with sense. There are not things that we work out with, with smartness. There are not things that we work out with any other thing. God wants you to operate 
from another angle of your being. Not just me, all of us. You know, when Jesus was walking on the water, they were afraid. And Jesus was just looking at them. Now, did we not see what happened to Peter and others later on? After, the Pente after Pentecost, did they not walk in the supernatural? There was a time they were looking at Jesus and say, wow, what manner of man is this? Will we come there? Because Jesus did not tell them it's because I am God. He told them, he told Peter that you don't, it's because you lack supernatural. Did Peter not raise the dead eventually? Did they not do wonders? The shadow of Peter not healed the sick. When they begin to see that there is a supernatural dimension and he started feeding the supernatural. I was telling somebody sometime today that from the supernatural dimension, you can get direction for what, for what, where your prosperity is. When you grow the supernatural, God, you will get, you will hear the voice, the business you will do, where you should do this business that can turn you to a billionaire. You have read all the book of Harvard. He tell you 50 principles of all the people you connected to have stolen your money. You can't, there's no earthly principle that can work because human beings will change. Principles will change. Nations will change. Laws will change. But God that have seen the end from the beginning, if he tell you go here, but those are supernatural things. You can put money inside business and they fail. You put money inside bank and they say they are the strongest and they become the weakest. <clears throat> Number two. And after he had dismissed the crowd, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was alone. The supernatural is built. It is not in built. God put something in you. Then you build it. Fan and flame, it is built. Let me use it like that. It's not him built. You will not naturally grow to be supernatural. You will naturally grow to be more natural. Oh, the supernatural. It is built in the place of aloneness. That means they don't need to talk to. They are very bored. No, you don't. Jesus have to be alone. It is built in the place of prayer, much prayer. Jesus say, everybody be going. I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray. It is in the place of alone with God. Nobody will grow the supernatural to become a conqueror. And I'm not talking of supernatural for ministry. I'm saying supernatural for business. Supernatural for health. Supernatural to overcome. Supernatural to work secure in this world. Supernatural to, as a doctor, that when they bring a patient to you, you deal with the sickness and the devil behind it. It's not the one that, that they, will, they will afflict you with sickness. In the process of trying to treat somebody, you carry double problem. And then they will tell you if, you, if you are in this profession, if you don't join court, if you don't join something, you cannot succeed. Are you not see how courtism has increased? Everybody is joining something. Because if you don't join something, you can't survive in this world. It's either you grow in God. So you don't grow in God, you're pressing phone no, from morning to night. It is in the place of a known. The more you are on phone, the more natural you are becoming. The more you are in the place of play, the more natural. Sometimes when I sit down there three hours, I sit and they say, what are you doing? I can wake up three o'clock, I'm lying down, till six, I'm awake, I'm praying. I, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Then you carry for you are pressing. You are pouring more of the natural. You are pouring more of the 30 years. You still be asking, how do you how do people use to hear the voice of God? 
is by pressing their phone. This, people must look for opportunity to be alone. You must look for opportunity to be alone with God. Now, God has given you opportunity alone. You are still looking for people to play with online. Now, they will not help you. The people online will not save you. The people online will, do, will, will not do many things for you. Nobody will survive oh, without the supernatural dimension. No, I will not survive. You will not survive. All of us need the supernatural. Now, what I'm saying is that don't joke with moment that you have opportunity to be alone. Stop looking for somebody every time. I'm, I'm alone. Don't look for somebody to be calling somebody, calling somebody. Calling, talking, 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 talking. Press, 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 press. You know, the devil has handed us opportunity. The, you, don't let me use the devil. Let me say the word. It's a word system. Everything of the world wants to make sure that you, you cannot connect to God. You must create time. And the reason why this is important, number three, there are situations that respond only to the supernatural. Let's continue. But by this time, the boat battered by the waves was far from the land, but the wind was against them. And early in the morning, he came walking towards them on the sea. There are moments in life, there is no boat. There is no way you will cross to the other side to the higher level, to the greater level of destiny. Unless we walk on the water and the water is not solid. So the supernatural dimension of your life must be switched on. There are seasons in your place of work. The only reason why you will get that job and that promotion. There are moments that if you are not supernatural or the spiritual dimension is not at work, it, it, it may not even go to a child of God. You know, you are a child of God that is very natural. We are not saying you are not a child of God. So you can see this thing. Somebody is not a child of God. He's a child of the devil. He's an occultic man. But he's operating. Now, when you are like this, let me use this as an example. You are operating in the third levels. The occultic man is operating in the seventh level. You need to be at the 10th level by putting more supernatural to be able to dominate him. So you are a child of God, but you are the second, first level of spirituality. So you will be thinking, I'm a child of God, I serve God, but you are, but your natural is too much. Your natural is too much than your spiritual. Your fun life is more than your prayer life. You catch fun too much. Every day is Christmas. No problem. But how much of the supernatural are you building? 25 years, Abraham was still building faith. Until he could slaughter Isaac. And he believed that Isaac would go with him. That was when God started the serious journey with him. Because you have done this, blessing I will bless you, multiplying I will multiply you. You know, some of the things that are worrying us sometimes, I say, you know, the way everything is just bored, God was giving people opportunity to grow. The thing that God was, was taking from them. Because maybe many people don't know that they need to grow the supernatural in order to be more than a conqueror in this life. One day, you will not have anybody in that flight, only you. Only you. Nobody to pray with you, nobody to call. Can you switch on the supernatural to save yourself and save others?
There was no boat, though, and there was heavy wind. And Jesus must go to the other side. When you find yourself, or I find myself in this condition, what do you do? It's either you remain where you used to be for the next 20 years. But if you must go to the other side, then you must walk on the water. How do you walk on the water? How do you confront the heavy wind, the wickedness that is saying you will not go? You will not go. Your family will not go. You cannot crawl. Where we left your grandfather, left your grandmother, that is where all of you will be. You will not go beyond that level. Jesus said, I will cross to the other level. I will cross over. They said, no. The wind said, you will not go. The water said, they said, there is no boat. The water said, yeah, where do you go? He said, I will step on you. He said, how do you step on water? I said, because I am not just natural. Because there is nothing the supernatural cannot do. When Jesus resurrected, he entered the room without opening the room. Did Peter not walk on the water? Somebody will say that is Jesus. When the supernatural was switched on, he started walking on the water. So that man that was in the boat can actually walk on the water like Jesus. But he was so naturally conscious. He was not spiritually conscious. No matter the storm, there are times there are storms. There are times there are wind. There are times there are no boats. But you must go to the other side. How do you do it? You switch on the supernatural dimension of your life. Now, what I'm saying is what God is teaching me for my life. It's what God is teaching me for my life. I am not even claiming that I can walk on the water now. But I know that if I want to walk on the water, this is what the Lord is telling me I must do. Many of us are looking for money. We are looking for plenty of things. But do you know that if you switch on the supernatural, all these things will be easier than you imagine. Just a word from the Lord can change your story, your financial story, your health, your business. Oh, you see all these people you are connecting to is the reason why God is not help you. Because some of them, they are this strange spirit in their life. All this, your business partner, all these occultic people you are following, the spirit behind them is what is changing your hand, chasing your angel away. All these, your online people, friends, are the reason why God cannot work with that company. Can you money to Some of you, some of us will be surprised that the people we are trying to connect to is the reason why God is not connecting. We are not getting God. Because they are not even, God said, I can't follow this group. The group where you are looking for life is the group where God said, anybody in this group, remove their name. Yeah, yeah, group. You didn't follow anybody to their house. So you don't know what they leak in the morning and what they do with their life. Some association is the reason why God is not associating with some people. But when you grow the supernatural, God begins to give you step by step of how to get to the promised land. Number four. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified saying it is a ghost. And they were terrified. They were terrified. The supernatural is not common. Because it's not common. When anybody sees the supernatural, they become afraid. You know, when they saw Paul, they thought they are close, they want to worship them. How, you know, when the Lord removed from the spirit of Moses and he put on the elder, they started manifesting. They started manifesting the same manifestation. And Joshua was very jealous. And Moses said, how I wish that everybody were like a everybody. I 
Ah ouais, oui. We wish everybody. And then they... But that is not the message of today. Because the supernatural is not common. Anytime you see anybody in the supernatural, you become very afraid. Wow, wow. That is supposed to be you also. There's no wow, wow. Wow, wow. Anytime you see the supernatural, it is the picture of what you are supposed to be. So when they saw Jesus walking on the water, they became afraid. Are you afraid? The reason why you are afraid and you are shrinking and shaking is because of the scarcity of supernatural. If I walk in the supernatural, you walk in the supernatural. When you see somebody on the water, say, oh, well done, brothers. Well done, brother. Then you jump on the water, they will begin. You know, when God created Adam and Eve, he said, go, subdue the earth. You will not subdue the earth that is, that is highly test. A earth that is highly dominated by spiritual forces. You will not, you will not, you will not, you will not dominate it with your Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola spirit, with your natural, natural strength. It a, a, a head that is highly potent, dominated by the forces, forces of negativity and evil. Epic battle. You will not dominate it though, with the natural self. And why I'm emphasizing, and I use this coke as an example, this drink as an example. Is because every day we keep feeding the natural and we are expecting that we will just be supernatural because we are thinking that the supernatural is inbuilt. It is built, not inbuilt. It is grown, it is developed. Somebody can inspire you, but only you will aspire. Nobody will aspire for you. You will develop. I can inspire you to pray, but you will do the prayer. I am very concerned that we, we, we are not only diluting this, we are putting more of the natural into the natural. So for many years, the natural becomes still very obvious. But you know, over time, over time, you see the, the natural. Over time, when you continue to pour, to pour the supernatural, to pour the supernatural, to pour the supernatural, to pour the supernatural, look at the difference. May I decrease that you may increase. May you be the Lord of all. Now, can you compare the two? This one we walk through principally, even if it's not like this, even if it's not like this, there is a part of the natural. It's not completely supernatural like this, like spiritual, but you can see this. This one we deal with Satan, we deal with affliction. We deal with a lot of things, not this. Not this. Even if you are not like this, you can be like this. You cannot remain like this. For 100 years, this man is a child of God, but we continue to be defeated. He must become like this. And if it's possible, become like this. Number five. They say it is a ghost. The supernatural is highly misinterpreted. Jesus took Spitu and put on somebody's lips. He said, be open. He did like this. If I do it today, Elisha wanted to, to raise the child of that woman. He laid down the child face to face seven times. Before the child, before the child came up. The supernatural is silent. That's why today when people see miracle, they say it's a lie. It's Bezebel. So Bezebel have power. Like, that's what they said about Jesus. So Bezebel can do miracle. God cannot do miracle. You know, the supernatural is highly misinterpreted. So when they saw the supernatural, they say it's a ghost. 
is because of the scarcity. Because many people are too natural. When they begin to see super, sometimes when I share testimony, testimony of how God provided for us, I was sharing with I was sharing some time ago that in my 23 years as a priest, God has brought great people in my life. But in these 23 years, everything that I ever have, anybody gave me, God touched them. All. I cannot remember asking anybody that. Please help me. I waited until God would touch anybody. There was a time I used a car for 13 years. Nobody gave me anything. I remain like that. Because we are trying to practice the spiritual, the supernatural. That can God, as a minister of God, can God touch people's hearts for me? I cannot remember 24 years. Maybe now that I'm, I'm very close to some people that they are, they are like me, I can tell them something that I want. But I grew up waiting on the Lord to touch anybody for me. That is why if anybody gives me anything, I don't see them like human beings. I see them like after God. Because I feel that before this person would have done this, God must have touched the person seriously and the person was touchable. So whenever I'm sharing, sharing testimony with people, how we were waiting on God for what we eat tomorrow morning, and we trusted how we enter the road and we are believing God. They will say it is not lies because it's a well connected, where nobody believes. So when they see the, the supernatural, they say it's a ghost. They call it a ghost. But number six, Jesus said it is I. Yeah, it's not ghost. It is that same Jesus living the normal life. Let me repeat again, and I make it number six. The supernatural life should be part of our normal life. Everything about you cannot be normal. Cannot be ordinary. Everything about me cannot be ordinary. Cannot be ordinary. Provision for my life is not ordinary. I don't know whether the person is online. I've, I've had a, a time in my life. Somebody begged me for 2,000 or 3,000. They were very sick and I did not have the money. 3,000. And the person abused me that I'm a liar. I'm a fake man. And I, I, I didn't have the money. The person could not believe. The next day, the next day, somebody brought a check. I, I didn't want to share this testimony. Let me just leave it. He said 30 times in the night, the Lord appeared to him. A check that he was giving for something else. God said, I will go and give it to Father Domingo. Kai. The supernatural must be part of our life. If you, if you, if everything is just natural, you are not experiencing the supernatural life. You need to take a break. You need to take a break. Something is not working because there are days you will find yourself no boats, but you must go to the other side. If the supernatural dimension of our life is not developed, you'll be you'll be stuck. You'll be stuck where you are. And then I love this so much. Jesus said, Don't be afraid, I'm the one. And it was Peter that spoke up. He said, Lord, if you are the if you are the one, eh, if you are the one, command me to come to you. Are you the one? Let me say to you, servant, ask God question before stepping into things. Let me say that. You know, part of the, the life of the spirit, let me call it the life in the spirit. Maybe supernatural is, is looking at the life in the spirit, living the spiritual life. Is that there are steps that you take. There are steps that you take. It's a step after the master. Because the master was on the water. I don't have time to, to talk about this very well. You know, there are times we see some things that Jesus has done. There are steps that the master has taken. He was walking on the water. But Peter asked him, can I come? Peter did not say, 
If Jesus walk on the water, I will walk on the water. He has questions. I will tell you the reason as we come on. He asked the Lord, can I come? Because faith is acting on God's word. Faith is not acting so that you will not switch into self-deceit, pride, or presumption. So that you will not be presumptive. You know, David never lost a battle because he asked God, should I fight? He did not presume that since I'm a warrior, I'm supernatural. I will just be fighting. He asked God question. Faith is acting on God's word, not presumption. You know, initiative. Somebody say, I want to use my initiative. He did not take excuse. You know, my my archbishop is, is celebrating his 75th birthday. And we are we are beginning tomorrow. And I'm the chairman of the planning committee. And whenever we are taking some decisions, I check up with him. Are you okay with this? Are you okay with this? Even though I'm using initiative, I must take permission. I go always pray for you. As all of us they go our separate ways. Thank you, Father. Nagutori, we go to tell when we see.